Hey guys, welcome back to Learning D3. This is episode three. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a very, very simple chart using D3. Um, this is gonna be a chart that is static, so uh, it, it's not something you can just keep adding data to. It's just, it's just to show you uh, the very basics of how we can kinda build something that resembles a chart, all right? Later on, in the series we'll be building real charts with scales um, where you can just continuously add data and it'll still show up correctly but for now we're just gonna build something very small and static alright so what I have here is just a, an unordered list just like we had in the last two videos except these are smartphones okay so what we're gonna do is make a, a really simple chart that's gonna show us uh, bars with the length depending on sales of that smartphone. All right, so what I'll do is I'm gonna create an array of JavaScript objects. So I'm gonna call this styles, and I'm gonna set that to an array. And for the first one, we're gonna give it a background. And this one is gonna be red and we're also going to do the text color all right because if for instance on on red we can have a white color font um, but if we're going to do yellow we'll want to put we we'll want black so we we'll want to be able to change those all right and then the width is going to represent the uh, sales of that smartphone all right so for this we'll say 35 so that's going to be percent 35 percent um, obviously we want all the widths to equal a hundred ideally all right so let's go ahead and just copy that five times okay and then we'll change this one to yellow and we'll change the text to black and then for this let's say 25 all right so what's that 60 and then we'll change this to green and we'll say 60, 70, 80 and then these two will be 10 and we'll change this color to black don't need a capital uh, let's see this one uh, let's say orange all right so we have our object our array here of objects of data now we're going to use the d3 select okay we want to select all and we're going to pass in uh, let's see li dot uh, I'm sorry dot items li all right and we're going to bind the data Oops just like we did in the last episode. And we're gonna pass in styles. And we're gonna use the dot style method. And in here, uh, we're gonna have our values. Okay, so we'll say font size. Now you could just put this stuff in CSS, the static uh, values here, but I'm just gonna put it all here just for convenience. All right, so font size, uh, let's give them a padding. Okay, we want this to look like a chart, so keep that in mind. Uh, we'll do six pixels of padding. We're gonna want the bars to have a little bit of margin. So we'll say four pixels. And let's set the list style to none. All right, so those are the values, static values. Okay, the next one's background color width. We're gonna want that to come from this data. All right, so let's do the background. And we're gonna set this to a function. And we're gonna pass in the data here. And then we're gonna return we want to return d dot background all right and let's
let's copy that. Okay, this one is going to be the color. Same thing, we're just going to change that for color and change this to color. And then this one is going to be the width. Okay, so we want to return D dot width and this needs to be in percent. So we're going to add on a percent sign. All right, so let's go ahead and save that and reload. And there we go, get a nice little chart. Let's make the text for Windows Phone just Windows, make it look a little neater. There we go. All right, cool. So if we were to change, let's say Samsung started to move ahead of iPhone. By the way, these statistics, pure just false. <laughs> I just made them up, so pay no attention to those. So we'll save that, reload. And now you can see that the Galaxy has moved ahead of the iPhone. All right, and like I said, this is just a, a very static, simple example. This isn't something you would really do. Much like the other examples, I'm just trying to show you how, how D3 works um, at its core. All right, so in the next video, we'll get a little more advanced. We'll create a chart, and I'll show you how to add scales so that um, we can keep adding data. I mean, because right now, if we wanted to add another phone or an another uh, value here, let's just go like that. And let's say we want this gray and reload. We're not going to see it, all right, because we have just uh, a certain amount of list items here, so it's not going to work, all right. Same thing if, if we wanted to add another phone here and we don't have the, the data, we don't have that in this array, it's not going to work. So scales can take care of that. And we're just using CSS here. Typically, you'd want to use SVG or Scalable Vector Graphics, which goes really well with D3. And uh, you can do much more complex things, much more complex shapes. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at SVG. Uh, if you don't, if you've never used it, it's not that difficult. Uh, we'll first just do it in the browser with the SVG tag, and then I'll show you how to draw shapes with D3. Alright, so I will see you in the next part.